weekend and the rest of the week? Well, I'm pretty sure we're not going to have to call them the snow plows. <laughs> Maybe. No, no, I'm positive. We're not going to worry about that. <laughs> it's not going to be too bad. It's pretty much blown through us at the moment. But here's what we're looking at here with kind of the radar track at the moment. It's pretty much to the south and the east of us, and it's definitely making its way to the east and away from us. So we don't have to worry too much about it anymore here in the El Paso area. But if you're going to be east of us, you see Sierra Blanca and heading towards Van Orn. They're getting a little bit of that precipitation also in the Pecos area. So if you're going to be driving along I-10 East and making your way towards those directions, you can see how you're going to be running into a little bit of it. You see Hobbs is getting some of it. you got to make your way north. Maybe you're going to start heading towards Lubbock. You see you're going to see some of it as well. So be careful as you're on those roads. As you guys know, take your time. Slow down. we got plenty of it. I want you back here. Get a little bit of distance. Those roads can get icy with a little precipitation on them. One of some black eyes. Don't want that for you either. But you can kind of see right now where these clouds are making their way out. Now, we were kind of seeing it here in our El Paso area to the south yesterday as it made its way up. But as we go through, you see it's kind of pushing its way to the east and a little bit south. So we're not going to have to worry about here in the El Paso area much longer. Definitely colder temperatures for today. But as I showed you earlier, it's going to make its way out. As you can see, this guy's kind of pushing his way south and east over towards the Houston area. So we don't have to, again, worry about the El Paso area. Now, the Almanac that we're going to be looking at here in El Paso. Your high for today is 48. Your average is normally 65. So as you can see, we're a little below average. Low of 36 for today. Average 41. Your high is back in 2020, not too long ago, 85 degrees. So that must have been a, a troubling day, having an 85 degree day in November. But I mean, that's a good football weather as well. We've got the Cowboys today. I'm excited about that. Tonight, your overnight here, as you can see in Las Cruces, they usually get colder than us. 26 degrees is what they're going to be seeing. Cold sunset around 5.04 p.m. Usually it's a little bit later than that, so be ready for that if you're going to be outside needing that light. I actually mowed some of my yard yesterday, kind of waiting for that sun to kind of cool down a little bit for me, and it was nice out there. Got everything nice and cut. It's good, good. Fresh grass smell being cut is good stuff. El Paso, 30 degrees as well. Chilly, west, 10 mile per hour winds. So we are going to see a little bit of wind, but nothing in that 20, 25 mile per hour range. Basically, gusts around 10 to 15 miles. So we'll be all right there. Now, if you want to try to sneak out, get the doggo out for a walk -o, I like that. 20% chance in some of those lower lying areas, but nothing really to worry back here. 36 at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., you're looking at 37 as well. So let's jump over here to your seven day forecast sponsored by Mattress Firm again. That's that chance of precipitation that we we're a little worried about yesterday that's kind of pushed its way through but the lows I want you to see that 30 degrees right there for your overnight 30 again on Tuesday gonna be cold moving on forward here for the rest of the week as you can see turkey day gonna be cold not too bad 60 degrees though I can work with that that's outdoor football weather 36 for your overnight lows no real precipitation for the rest of the week so doesn't look too bad we'll see you guys when we come back more news and sports stay with us